Hello there, generals. So I bumped into this news, and I'm like, wait, what? I, I, I checked to make sure it was not a troll, but it looks like it's actually serious. So it, it's Sweden, so you should expect anything. But this is indeed a real headline. Swedish Parliament votes to pay Somalia's debt to the IMF with the taxpayers' cash. It which consists of 21 million to each corner, which is equivalent to $2 million. So the Sweden is going to bail out Somalia. Now, isn't this... You know, Sweden is a disgrace to European civilization at this point, but they're, they're, they're taking this, like, way too far. Way too far. Now, this is May 15, so two days ago. So now we can go down and continue on this, this ridiculous, like, utterly ridiculous. This week, the Swedish Parliament voted to spend the equivalent of over 2 million taxpayer assets to bail out Somalia's massive debt with the International Monetary Fund. Okay, so Sweden, for no freaking reason, is going to bail out Somalia. Now, obviously this is a bad idea, because guess what? Somalia spent this money on God knows what the hell it spent the money on. You know, loaning money from the IMF. So they did deficit spending. Irresponsible deficit spending, by the way. And... What this is going to lead to is the Somalians that be like, oh, the Swedes are going to be bailing us out every time. Okay, we're going to spend money even more irresponsibly. So this is just going to promote irresponsible behavior with Somalia. Right? So so you, th this is not really helping. Like, it's just not helping. And again, what the, why, why should Sweden pay $2 million to Somalia? Like, they can't even say, well, we, were, we colonized Somalia once. Or anything like that, right? They can't say anything like that. So, what's the excuse being given? It says the bill considered 21 million Swedish kroner and was voted for unanimously by every party except the Swedish Democrats. Now, I've heard the Swedish Democrats are the only party with any sense left in the up there, right? The other parties are, are so insane, so absurd that uh, that they should be like seriously. Anyone who voted for this, this, this nonsense, really. I mean, this doesn't even make sense, right? It's just nonsense. Anyone who vo voted for this thing should be thrown into an insane asylum. Because, come on, you can't be, you gotta be out of your mind to vote for this crap. And whoever votes for the people after this crap, Swedes, if Sweden perishes, it, it brought it upon itself. That's just, that's pretty much what we have to say. Okay, so it continues onward. Somalia has refused to make payments towards its debt and interest, and geopolitical scholars have been banging for a bid out for the struggling African nations during the coup. Oh, so it's the coup. Now, this piece of shit is being annoying. But oh, so it's a coup. We're gonna help them during coup. Okay, well, is it none of is this is it any of Sweden's business that they got screwed over by the coup? No, it's not. I mean, isn't Sweden itself also getting screwed over by the coup? So why on earth should Sweden? Yeah, why on earth should Sweden bail out this country? They're also in trouble, right? They're also in trouble with the coup. So why why, why bail out Sweden? Why, why, why bail out Somalia? Doesn't make any freaking sense. You know, it sounds really really stupid of them to do this. You know, and yeah. They refuse to pay, make the payments. Okay, do you think they're going to become more responsible if you bail them out? Of course not. They're going to become more irresponsible. And geopolitical consultants have been begging for a bailing out. Why, 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 why? No, if you bail them out, they're going to become in more irresponsible. This is stupid. Like, seriously. And again, European nations should stop interfering with Africa. Okay? Stop interfering with that, with that continent. Leave it alone. Leave the damn continent alone. Okay, you idiots, you fools. You know, it's funny. funny you know, every time, all the problems of Africa are blamed on all oh, the European interference. But these idiots keep interfering anyway. You know, which by the way, you're unironically making the problems worse. You're actually making them worse, you fools, trying to fix things. You know, so yeah, just leave them be and let nature sort them out. Okay, anyway, it continues. Voice of Europe reported that the bill will be handled by Swedish Central Bank, Riksbank. I wonder who owns that Central Bank. Hmm. The payment will be, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's a private central bank owned by, you know who. The payment will be made by Swedish Swedish Bank, which is this country's central bank. The report submitted to the Swedish parliament, which was, has, which was, which was been made available on its official website, justifies the move by claiming that Somalia has been unable to take on new loans for the IMF for a long time because the African country has been ma making its debt interest payments. And who is responsible for that? Somalia. Right? Like, so why do you, do you have to bail them out? Like, seriously, Why? The proposal also says that Somalia's inability to pay, repay its IMF debt has prevented it from getting access to other forms of aid and loans, which in turn has negatively affected the country's economy. Well, look, these okay. So what's happening is these people are, are you know 
loaning money or, or well, they're, they're borrowing money and they're not able to, and they're investing it in in projects which aren't properly which don't really give enough of a return, right? To be worth the loan. So this is irresponsible government action in Somalia, which is screwing it over. Huh. You know, uh, people uh, there's a lot of people that like to troll at me about Somalia is uncapped paradise. Well, it looks like uncapped paradise government can't even pay its freaking debt. <laughs> and it's getting screwed over because, again because of government intervention. Now the government's not investing pro- in... There's probably... Let's face it. There's, there's money that they're borrowing. Don't you think there's a bunch of corruption and wasting going on? Of course there is. Who knows how much of that money is getting embezzled? And who knows if Somalia's even going to pay the freaking debt? Uh, 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 trust me, if unless Sweden gives the money directly to the IMF, you can have a lot of it disappear. In our news about Sweden and Africa, a Swedish teen was murdered while successfully attempted to save a Swedish woman from an R at the hands of a Sudanese migrant. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's, it's, it looks like Sweden is asking for more of this type of stuff, isn't it? You know, with the constant interference. Okay, Tommy Lind, 19, was... M was off when stepping in to fight off an R, you know, as, you know, all the horrible words you can't say, a woman at a party in Harano Sun on Sunday. Holy crap. The unnamed 22-year-old Sudanese migrant who became a Swedish citizen in 2011 is facing, you know, the offing and the R charges following the incident. I'm going to say 24. Hmm, interesting. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that what happens when you bring in people who you shouldn't be bringing in? Well, yeah, that's what's what happens. But Sweden never learned. They'll never learn until they perish, isn't it? They will never learn until they're gone. They, they won't learn ever. They will perish before they learn. Even though it's obvious to everyone that it's a bad idea. They, you know, Lynn was reportedly stabberoni during a struggle in which he attempted to defend the unnamed woman who was in the process of being armed. So this poor guy goes to defend this, this woman and he gets... Oh, and who is responsible for this crap? Well, obviously the people did, but also the government for bringing them in. And then here's the final paragraph. Although the teenager was rushed to the hospital, he had lost a substantial amount of blood. He truly succumbed to his wounds after receiving medical attention. So this guy suffered because the government is a bunch of little shits who are allowing people who they shouldn't be allowing in. Isn't that a pity? Sweden has long been a proponent of compassion towards the African continent and might reach its place with a civil tumor occurring in that region. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. And what is it getting in return? It's getting this type of thing in return. And do you think that the arts are going to stop when they give money to like Somalia? No, you know what's going to happen? They're going to be seen as a weak, pathetic country, which already are seen as that, but they're going to be seen as even weaker and pathetic country, so you're going to have even more people going there to take advantage of the weakness that they, they perceive, and which actually is there. Right? It's not just perceived weakness. That weakness is actually there. So, you know, if Sweden wants to stop getting suffering from all this, this uh, the afflictions, right? It has to stop being weak. It has to grow a spine and be, you know, stand up for itself. But instead, no, it keeps doing this stuff. But it's pathetic, right? It's pathetic. It's not even serving its own people, right? It's, it's serving everyone else but its own people. Which, you know, means... What does this mean? My friends, what this means is... It, it depends, oh, I don't know, I mean, is the Swedish government even legitimate anymore? If it doesn't even protect its own people, right? Right? If it, it I mean, it almost, it's almost, you could say that it's hurting its own people. It's it's attacking its own people in some way, indirectly. Like, at this point, the government can't just go and say, oh, well, it was just an accident. Oh, well, we don't know. Oh, well. No, it's it almost seems like deliberate at this point, right? Because if you, if this continues happening and you keep on pushing this, yeah. But, you know, they're weak. Yeah, they're weak. And until they fix this problem of weakness, Sweden will, you know, it'll slide downwards worse and get worse and worse and worse until there's no more Sweden. And then, well, and then it's going to be something else. Sweden style or whatever the hell it's going to be called. But, hmm. Yeah. This sort of thing makes people cringe. You know that? Well, it should make you cringe. If we just have stuff, you're like, oh, oh, bro. We expected you of this at this point, but... Yeah, we expected this, but... Man. Like, seriously. Girl's fine, you goddammit. But anyways, that is all, and screw Sweden. Screw screw you for making these headlines be actual, real, unironic things on the internet. 